Now, Warren Buffett, one of the world's favorite rich men, just got a little bit more likable. The business magnate with an estimated net worth of $53 billion is partnering with his other billionaire friend, Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert, to give college basketball fans an offer that they can't pass up. It's the chance to win $1 billion. The winner will have to correctly guess the winners of all 63 NCAA tournament games in Gilbert's company, Quicken Loans Billion Dollar Bracket. So your chances of winning are slim. They're one in 4,294,967,296. But if you don't have what it takes to choose the perfect bracket, then Quicken will give you $100,000 to the 20 most accurate, quote, imperfect brackets if used to buy, refinance, or remodel a home. Now, in addition to a billion-dollar handout, the Buffett and, Gil Buffett and Gilbert have pledged to donate $1 million to Detroit and Cleveland youth education nonprofits. And the promotion, however, has received some flack. Aaron Foley from Jalopnik, Detroit, writes, So if you're stuck in a cycle of poverty, you have to share $1 million between thousands of other kids between two cities. But if you're lucky at basketball, you get a billion. Good to know. Now, the contest's winner will receive 40 annual payments of $25 million or a $500 million lump sum payout. Hope that's okay. Uh, this sounds very, very complicated to me. Um, you know, the chances of someone really winning are slim. But what do you think of Buffett's move here, Amanda? It seems silly. I mean, why? I mean, I, I agree with Jalopnik. Uh, why not give the billion dollars to Detroit and other cities that are struggling for youth education programs instead of to the person who just gets lucky and fills out a bracket? I mean, what you know, it's like it's like playing the lottery. What sort of message are we sending? Or why not spread that around to young people getting into you know young entrepreneurs or something? I mean, there are so many other ways to use millions or even billions of dollars than simply saying, "Hey, go fill out a March Madness bracket," which you would do anyway at work. And if you happen to get extremely lucky, we'll reward you for that. I just, I honestly, I don't really see the point of this. It's great that they're giving a million dollars to the, these youth education programs, but it'd be nice if they're giving more to that or making that their focus rather than all this March Madness stuff.